I built this piece for this space, and I wanted to build one piece in this space to deal with the axis, the main axis of the space. So I've dealt with five plates, they're all the same size, and they deal with the center line. They're either 20 inches away from the line, leaning in, so their top edge is aligned with the line, or the bottom edge is on the center line, leaning away. Um, it's almost impossible to see all five at once. So what people will do, I hope, is as they promenade the city here, they'll also come into this space, which is a, really a public space, and they'll walk into and through and around. There's no hierarchy in terms of how you have to go or where you have to be. Here, I had no idea if the piece was going to be successful or not because I didn't know until the first plate went up whether we were going to hold the scale. You don't want to do an Easter egg hunt in a place like this. You want to be able to pull the scale together to contract and compress the space. And you want the piece to make sense. And you want, in some sense, to make the piece look like it's always been here, like it was intended to be here. No, you have no sense of the scale until you pull the first one up into place. You have no sense of whether it's going to hold the volume. Right. And until we really had the first one to erect, I didn't know whether we were going to be able to accomplish what I needed to accomplish. So I think pieces like this afford the possibility of re-seeing them and re-understanding and re-seeing this space. If anything, this piece creates enough tension in this space to make you look once again at this space in a way you've never seen it. And that's the, really the reason to work here. And that's the reason to do one piece and not to do several pieces in this space.